I just want to make a short video talking about um, Kotlin and what's going to, how it's going to affect the upcoming content for my channel. So as you guys know, I'm going to be switching pretty much completely over to Kotlin now, uh, pretty much moving forward. I doubt that I'll make another Java course moving forward unless like there's some big change with Java and I want to highlight something. But in general now, from now on, I'm going to be doing strictly Kotlin. And um, it's for a number of reasons. Number one is I think Kotlin is, I just, I think it's in general, it's just a better language. Like you can do everything Java can do and more, but Java can't do everything Kotlin can do. There's a lot of really good, con nice conveniences that it has. It, you can write more concise code. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just better, I think, overall. And Google is really pushing it. Like some of their Google samples aren't even in Java anymore. They just use Kotlin exclusively. So I think um, that's that's really going to be the direction that I'm going to be going. And uh, I just want to say that I'm I'm not a Kotlin expert at this point for sure. Like I'm still learning it myself. So it's gonna it's gonna be kind of an uncomfortable transition period where um, some things I do in Kotlin won't be like a hundred percent right or. It's no, it's not that they won't be right. It's that they might not be the most effective or efficient way because I don't know all of kind of these little syntactical things that, that it has. And but lucky, lucky for me, I always post what I do on Instagram and on YouTube. So if I if I miss any of these like little things, people are very quick to correct me, which I actually saw yesterday on my Instagram. So yesterday I posted a picture of the navigation components example that I'm making right now, which I should uh, probably publish later today. It's a video on how to use navigation components, uh, how to navigate an app using Jetpack's navigation components. And right away, I got a couple corrections. It said this Aiden said the nav controller should be a late int instead of an instead of nullable. I didn't know because I don't I didn't know what to really use a late int for. So yes, that makes complete sense. If I'm gonna make it null and then I'm gonna initialize it right away, I gotta use this late integer thing. So as soon as he said that, I looked it up and said, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, another one, Heart Balloon said, try next button, set on click listener and import the view with Kotlin synthetics. So I looked up Kotlin synthetics and yes, I knew what those were actually, but I didn't know what the name of it was. Um, and what that does is basically makes you eliminate find view by ID. So you don't need to use find view by ID anymore, which is awesome. Because if you look, if you zoom up on my image here, I don't know if you can do it. You can see I used view, find view by ID, got the button. But actually, if you use Kotlin, um, what, what were they called? The Kotlin, Kotlin synthetics, Kotlin synthetics. Um, you can eliminate the find view by ID completely. So another thing that I learned, and there's, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of these things as I make these Kotlin videos. So um, yeah, that's all, all I wanted to say. And um, just kind of officially say that I'm going to be doing Kotlin moving forward. And yeah, let me know if I make a mistake in my code when I'm, or if there's a shorter way to do something, because I'm sure this is going to come up a lot. So um, yeah, keep in mind later today, I'm going to be releasing that navigation components example video where I show you how to navigate with a bunch of fragments using navigation components. Really awesome. It's, it's, I'm probably going to be using it um, moving forward forever if I'm ever using fragments. It's a really great way to navigate your app. And it's, and it's show, it's a very, um, very descriptive, very, it's just a good way to navigate your app. You get a nice map that you can look at so other people can read it really well. It's just really good. So anyway, I'll see you in that next video.